In this lecture, we will see how to edit existing audio like an MP3 or WAV. You can drag and drop files from your folder to the waveform area. I will drag this demo recording WAV file. I can now see the waveform of the file and can start editing. You can drag and drop as many files as you want in this way. You can also drop them into the file browser area. Only one file will be highlighted in the file browser. The highlighted file name will be in blue. Demo recording one WAV file is currently highlighted. The waveform you see on the right is the waveform of the currently highlighted file. You can double-click any file in the file browser area to see its waveform. You will also see the name of the current waveform file in this area. These are very basic things, and you will get used to it after you use it a couple of times. You can also double-click on the empty place inside the file browser. It will perform an open action. You can navigate to a folder and open an audio file. You will always get multiple ways to do the same action in any editing software. Choose a way that is convenient for you. The open file action can also be performed from this open icon. If you mouse over on an icon, you will see what it does, and its shortcut. You now know how to take existing audio files in Audition for editing. If you already have some audio files, I suggest you drag and drop those and navigate between them. If you are watching this video on YouTube, it is part of my Adobe Audition course for beginners. If you are new to audio editing or already have experience with software like Audacity, this course will help. It is a step-by-step -step guide, so you will find it easy to follow. I will put this Buy Me A Coffee link in the description, and you can enroll in the course from there.